Welcome back to another episode of The Space, a mindfulness podcast that's not like the others. I'm your host, Casey Donovan. Alongside our writer, Amy Malloy, we use every Monday to explore ways to clear your head and help you stay calm and focused. Do you have eoffy fever? Yes, that's right, I'm talking about end of financial year fever. We'll list the symptoms. Overwhelmed at work because you're trying to finish jobs before July comes. Pressure to buy all of the things. An impending worry about your tax return. If you're someone who's triggered by money, this time of year can be especially stressful. You've got to face your receipts. You vowed last year you'd be more organised. You've got to face your finances. It can make anyone feel frantic. So, how can we help ourselves? Step one, detach from the outcome. If you work for yourself, this could be the first time all year that you've added up your income. Maybe COVID hit your profit. Maybe the pandemic increased it. Either way, remind yourself, I am not my income. I am loved. I have gifts to share with the world. Do your real friends and family love you any less because you're in a lower tax bracket this year? Step two, set the scene for your tax return. If there's ever a time for self-care, it's when you're diving into your finances. Use your senses to soothe you. Wear your cosiest outfit. Light a candle. Get the lighting right. Make sure no kids or pets will interrupt you. Set up your surroundings to reduce stress as much as possible. Now you can dive into your balance sheet feeling balanced. Step three. Use it to set New Year intentions. What would you like to change about your money mindset? If you're someone who hates facing their finances, it could be time to change your strategy. Think about it like exposure therapy. This is where you force yourself to face fear in small, manageable increments. Make a promise that you'll check your bank account once a week. Every Friday, look at your profit and loss sheet. You might even start to, dare I say it, enjoy being on top of it. The end of financial year is a great time to start afresh. Hopefully, with a bit more money in your back pocket. You've been listening to The Space with me, your host, Casey Donovan. Follow us on Instagram at thespace underscore podcast for more tips and tricks like this one. We're back tomorrow with another mood-soothing topic. Men are freaking out at work. We discuss how to help them or help yourself. Space out.